this is a sidecar racer. Look at that. I mean, there's something about the sidecar guys. You know, we're, we're all lunatics, but the sidecar lunatics are extra lunatics. <laughs> You know, and they're just so custom. You know, yeah. for somebody that, you know, for me, in terms of race bikes, uh, that the more hand they are, the more attractive they become to me. And the sidecars are really extreme in that. Vincent here, it's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, in terms of the things to shoot, oh, there's the van. We'll find the Vincent area. There's 40 or 50 of them parked together in uh, one spot. That's what this event is. You know, it's everyone that's east of the Mississippi that has cool stuff in their garage it brings it here. You know, the racing component, this is not a racing event. It's a vintage festival, and vintage racing occupies the racetrack that – sits in the center of the event and provides like a foundation of entertainment but there's just layers and layers and there's so much here you know this is basically like one macro subculture but then it's really not it's like hundreds of micro subcultures that meet in this camp under this umbrella so now we're going to go through uh, the hilltop parking area. Something to note here is the tram, Jim P. If you're without a vehicle for some reason, the tram is a great way to get around. See this truck and these trolleys, and they attach more of them. Uh, they, you know, there'll be four or five trains long. Disney World. Yeah. Um, and that's a cool way to get around. Fun experience. They're better on Fridays. They get kind of crowded uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. But still, a great way to get around. RV camping. The security are not typically like full time employees that know their way around. Some of them are. Okay. But for the most part, greeting them with extreme confidence will get you what you need. So, how about this? Like, how epic to design this is the driveway in the entrance to the RV parking. And this is a one-way road. Oh. Nice. I was trying to hit that pine cone. You got it. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the Hilltop RV parking, and if there's a spot that where it seems like it's reasonable, we should walk up and, and so you can see the view. It's wonderful. These spots sell out well in advance. So you don't have a great view of the racetrack. You know, you can see the whole back section. You got a great feel of the action, but it's epic. You know, it's shaded. It can be hot up here. You know, hot in this this you know part of the country is typically hot. But, and so having the shade is nice. Egg trailer. <laughs> these spots will all be full by, you know, yeah. noon today or whatever. Yeah, these are people sitting in line. 
Just waiting to get in. Yeah. But they do, they get you in early for these camping, uh, for the campers. Even though the event isn't open, they let the campers in early. Going. Oh yeah. Oh the hilltop RV parking? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll stay high here. This is more perimeter road, but we'll be on that over and over and over again. So I'm just gonna stay more into the details with you guys. So yeah, these are this is the less premium hilltop parking. Again, this is all sold out. a nice golf cart this thing's fast i mean this is max speed i don't know if this feels fast to you but to, for me for the sometimes they're painfully slower than this this is where i have my bmw meetings okay so at nine o'clock tomorrow morning so that's how we'll go when we take the group's going to meet and pick up the bikes in the morning and then we're going to ride the bikes to the meeting and this is the route we'll take which is uh, cool. This might dead end. It looks like it. Yeah. It looks like they have a porta potty wall. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't actually dead end, but it it does for our intents and purposes. 